Hey guys, that's happening. How's everybody doing? We got another finished model. Uh, chopper's chopper is all done. I finished it up today. Got a chance to get down here and uh, do some work. Uh, first, we got a mail call though. Probably one of my better mail calls. To me personally. Oh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's come back to reality here. A little more, a little more. There we go. Uh, I got a mail call today. Uh, Mrs. Mack came back from work, and when she usually gets the mail, uh, it was a package in there for me, and I'm like, a package for me? I go, I know I got something coming, but it's not supposed to be here for a couple of days. I go, so it can't be that what I ordered. Uh, I actually ordered one of those sanding sticks that Woody, uh, that Jerry would always showing. I went on Amazon and found it, 10 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna try it, see how it works. But uh, it looked pretty good for getting uh, to those pin marks and a way down deep inside or something. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, speaking of the mail call. So, I, uh, it's from, uh, it's from Austria. And, uh, I only know one person in Austria. And that's our good friend, uh, Mr. G. Todd Reeves and Styrene and his lovely wife, Elise. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw her video, but uh, she sings in a band. And uh, they were talking about having a CD, and I uh, said, hey, where can I get one of them CDs? And uh, this showed up in my mail today. And I can't wait to listen to it. There's Mr. G right there where my thumb is. Plays the bass, and there's Elise singing. Um, I don't know if I can get in trouble for this, but they're the ones who sent it to me. I'm very, very thankful. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, it will get listened to down here on my. I got the old fashioned boom box. Yeah, I know, Bill G. I know the Constitution is still sitting there. I know, I know. So, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate this uh, very, very much. Uh, you may even hear it on the background of one of my next videos. If I can get away with that, I don't know. Will I get in trouble? I don't know. All right, the Comanche's done. As you know, we'll give you a little history on it. Uh, this was never built for production, by the way. Uh, I think to believe there were only two of them made at a cost of I don't know how many billions of dollars. Uh, but uh, here we go. All right, this was the uh, Italy 172 scale RAH-66 Comanche. Um, this, this helicopter has been developed for the U.S. Army and, and will eventually at the beginning of the next century, we replaced the Kiowa OH-56, oh, I'm sorry, OH-58, and the Cobra AH-1. Uh, the RAH-66 has a low visibility fuselage, which was the stealth concept, which uh, has become more and more important after the experiences of the 1991 Gulf War. I uh, lost a lot of helicopters on that, I believe. Uh, the stealth features have been obtained through flat, angled, uh, elusive surface areas, shortened air intakes, inside armament, and the use of non-metallic materials. Uh, the Comanche is furthermore equipped with sophisticated all-weather and night vision navigational systems. Uh, the technical data, the length of the fuselage, was they got it all in millimeters, guys. 13.22 millimeters, length with the rotor, 14.28 millimeters, uh, meters, 
I'm sorry, meters, not millimeters. Uh, the diameter of the rotor was 11.90 meters. It stood 3.93 uh, meters high. Had a maximum speed of 302 kilometers an hour. An hour. I gotta breathe, that's why it's beeping. Uh, where were we? Maximum speed of 302 kilometers an hour. It had a range of 650 kilometers, and the armament was one 20 millimeter gun and a combination of up to 14 Hellfire anti tank rockets and air to air stinger missiles. So, without further ado, let's go take a look. Oh, shut up. Oh, boy. There he goes. Let's go look. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, once again. Hey. Hey. Out cold. Out cold. Oh, well. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh. Here it is. There's the Comanche. Yeah, uh, not bad. Uh, it was a fun little kit to build. Went together pretty well. Um, didn't really have any problems with it. Um, yeah, I can't think of any problems with it, except for the, the front pieces here. Um, I had to scratch all this, these, these pieces up front here, guys. Um, they didn't give you nothing in the kit. Uh, and like I said, they were just too big. I see if I can bring it in. I don't know if it'll focus. But they didn't give you anything. So I had some. Uh, I always save my clear stuff. So uh, that works. That works. Rotor works. Let's come back out. Oop. <laughs> the rotor works. Oops. The rear rotor works. I don't know if I can get my fat finger in there. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, here we go. Rear rotor works. Say that one three times fast. But uh, yeah, uh, no decals here. I had to paint those in. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy how it came out. Uh, nice and fun, fun job taping up this canopy. But uh, like I said, I just do it my way. Glue it on first. Glue it on to the to to the uh, you know the uh, body. Let it, let it dry good overnight so that it ain't coming off. But then I just tape them up and paint them. And that way I ain't worried about uh, afterwards trying to put it on without uh, smearing any paint. Or getting glue all over the place. So. But there you go, Chop. That was for you, buddy. Hope you like it. I think it come out pretty cool. She will be hanging in the museum. Uh, definitely going to get another chopper. Oh yeah, the gun works too. The gun works. That's the goes up and down, so it did go up and down. But yeah, very happy how it came out. Very happy how it came out. See, we can flip her up here. Give you a look at the underneath without damaging any. Without damaging any decals. There we go. Uh, pretty proud of the seam work. Getting definitely getting better at it. Definitely getting better at it. So here it is, chop. Oop. There it is, chop. You know what? I think we'll take it right off of this. Hang on. There we go. There we 
go. Got a uh, green light on the right hand side and a uh, red light on the left hand side. But uh, yeah, I think I think that front end come out pretty good considering that uh, they didn't give you nothing to put in there. So that just goes to show to keep all your keep all them little little queer parts. They, they come in great use. So well, there it is, boys. Let me know what you think. Another one down, huh? Another one down. All right. Now I've already pulled out another one besides the bomber. And it was funny too because uh, I happened to be watching Al White's, uh, yeah, Al White. Oh my God, Al Wood. I actually used to work with a guy named Al White. Yeah, who I haven't seen in 10 years. But uh, anyway, yeah, I was watching Al Wood's one of his videos the other day. And he started talking about a hawk of fury. <laughs> Guess what I've been? Guess what I was working on? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've been been puttering away at it. I had a couple of issues with the. Uh, we had some pretty bad um, styrene forming. Um, this whole piece back here. It uh, looked like it didn't form correctly. I did the one. The other side was okay. That side was okay, but uh, right where I put this piece in here, it was all like ragged and it, it looked like it just didn't mold right. Uh, had a big hole in it back here where there's not supposed to be a hole. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. But uh, yeah, so I, uh, I know it's a little thick, but uh, the piece that fit in there was, was perfect, the perfect width. So you're not going to see that. It don't get in the way of nothing. Um, I got a little piece right here. I got I to gotta sand. Or I might even take the hobby knife to it. But uh, once I put them together, uh, I've gotten, I've gotten a cockpit done. But once I put them together, where it looks so much better than it did. Yeah, this whole, like I said, this whole piece right down here was all, all like this and missing. And again, looked like it had been melted. I just seemed to find them, I guess, huh? Seem to find them. Ah, oh, good. All right, so that's where we are, boys. The Comanche's done. Working on the Fury. I'm going to be working on the Bomber. Uh, I, I had did a little bit more work on my tires. I noticed the other day after I watched the video that you could still see some of the, the lines in certain spots. So I went back over those and fixed all those. I'm pretty sure that this top, this piece down, that's flat, it's going to go up the top. So you won't see it when it's when it's hanging. Um, yeah, so I, I fixed both of them tires. Cause I could, like, like I said, I I don't know about you guys, but when I make a video, I watch it before I uh, before I, I upload it, um, just to make sure you know everything's all right, the volume's okay, and you know I didn't really sound like too much of a moron. Well, which is that's virtually impossible, but. Go ahead, insert your joke here, Jeff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, so, um, we, that's what we're doing. Um, I might pull out, uh, I'm getting itchy to do, a, uh, another ship. I might, uh, I got a couple of ships in there, old ones, World War One. Um, so I might, I might pull one of those out. Uh, I got plenty of room in that uh, my thing the other day, so. Oh God, I'm almost on 50. All right, I gotta get out of here, guys. I'm almost 15 minutes. I've been rambling away too long. I apologize. Guys, have a good night. Uh, I'll be in touch. Peace out.